Welcome to lesson number seven in module one, Entrepreneurship in the Digital World. Introducing you to the use of IT in your business and ideas on how to run a net-based business. You will be aware of different business processes that can benefit from digitization. You will learn how to secure the digital competence in a business. You will be able to implement a digital strategy in the business model. Information technology, IT, is important when it comes to understanding the market and the competition. Use the web to keep an eye on customers and competitors, understand trends and changes, opening up new business opportunities. Find and copy winning business models, both in your own domain and from totally different sectors. Transfer concepts from other entrepreneurs to create your unique position in your part of the market. To be competitive in the digital world, you need to master the use of digital automation, robots, artificial intelligence, cloud services that give your business, cost-effective business processes, a chance to meet the needs and behavior of your customers, switching from the perspective of opening hours to an around-the-clock customer service and presence. In the digital world, you don't need to have all competences under the same roof. They're just a click away. Online networking and building relations with people you can trust is crucial for your business, both in terms of survival and growth. Identify the social media channels and online networks. There you can find the colleagues and partners your business needs and build a strong and long-term relationship with the ones that can contribute to your business and its value. It's not only colleagues and partners you need to identify and build a relation with. You need to be able to find your customers and prospects by using digital tools and channels as well as giving them a chance to find you and your products. Learn how to use search tools and social media in order to find customers. Based on your customers' behavior, you must choose the format and channels that appeal to them. Sharing knowledge in ebooks, white papers, videos, etc. is a great way to attract followers and turn them into customers. By using different formats, content, schedules, so-called A-B testing, you will be able to find the most effective way to reach your customers. The last five years, the trend of something as a service is very clear. Things that were sold as products have turned into service selling models. Software as a service was the start, but now we can see it in a number of domains. Not at least 3D printing have turned businesses upside down. Selling blueprints and design tools and let customers produce their own products. Turning from an industrial period into a knowledge-based economy has also opened up for many new ways of selling knowledge as a service, as Real Project is one example of. When it comes to customer relations, one of the sections in your business model, it's important to give the customers a chance to interact with you without being too time-consuming. One of the keys is to automate the process by using the digitalization and still give the customer the sense of you being an active and caring business. Make sure the process is available in the situations the customer needs it. The automated support, service and tutorials also give your customer a chance to interact with you any hour of the day. Using affiliates and partners is a way to get closer to the customer, either geographically, by language or the niche the customer uses your products in. Linking to and integrating your affiliates and partners is a great opportunity when digitalizing your business processes. IT and Internet have made our world smaller when it comes to running a business. You don't need to be a traditional multinational enterprise to reach customers all over the world. Glocal business is based on a local team or group of small businesses working on a remote market anywhere in the world. Glocalization is often used to describe a situation there you have a very specific target group in a certain location and acts as if you were very close to them. Global resources points out the opportunity to recruit employees and find external resources in any region of the world. With IT and Internet, you can bridge almost any distance and country border, but check the legislation and rules for the market you're approaching. The freedom of being a digital entrepreneur is that you can work anywhere, if you just have access to the Internet. Find the customers you want to have wherever they are. You don't need to be a globetrotter but you need to have a mindset that sees the opportunities that appears in the global perspective. Forget about commuting and going to the office, but don't forget that a good portion of work is still required to become a digital entrepreneur. After this lesson, you should now be able to identify, 
business processes, services, and products that can be supported and further developed with the use of IT. Reflect on the skills and tools you identify as required and think about how you can reach the relevant resources for your business over the net. We wish you good luck in the digital world of business and entrepreneurship.